we will definitely stop here in the light. Are we going... Is this the logging camp from the very beginning? I don't think so. You start, like, the very beginning of the game, you wind up in that dream sequence where he, like, wakes up behind the wheel of the car. So there's never really a moment where you get... I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room. I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Um, what I was going to say is we never really saw the path away from the bird-like cabin. Like, that's not something that we actually played through because that's just all done kind of as like a, a sleight of hand. Uh, but apparently it is in a remote location. I have the flare gun equipped and we're not going to want to do that. Or maybe we do. Maybe I'll just start going ham. Follow and drop down. Yo, if nothing else, can we all applaud that Cynthia Weaver, like, she is a busy lady. She's keeping light bulbs lit. She's out here painting bioluminescent directions for every damn place you could possibly go in town. She goes hard. There's so many weird environmental interactions that they have you do in this that they only use a couple of times. And I don't know if I like it more when they're not like regularly used or if I prefer it when they're like a staple part of the exploration. Cause like when we played, um, I think about like when we played Tomb Raider and like every three seconds I was using the climbing axe to pry open a door. You don't get that level of repetition in Alan Wake, but you do just get like weird sequences where I'm like, well, wait a minute, how the hell, why come I can push this, but there's been other shit in my way and we haven't been able to push I will it. never give her to you. tornado I hate that oh I hate you as well friend chainsaw bro worst worst All right, we're almost out of bullets for the hunting rifle, so I'm going to backtrack and get the uh, shotgun that was back here. I do not want to get caught with my pants down as we enter the finale. Not a ton of ammo for this boy either, but like right now I will definitely take the larger number between the two. This is awful. All right, so I'm assuming we're going to have to use that spotlight in like a boss sequence. But what and why? I feel like those are the big questions. Are we going to fight that tornado? Are you kidding me? The whole effing water tower structure? Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Again, though, we had this problem when we did this in the town. When I'm on it, they, like, don't move. See, the minute I come off it, the AI knows to run at me again. That's so weird. He just stands there and waits for his doom. Can I turn this all the way around? I cannot. I'm worried about the thing behind me.
Oh, hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Can I push him off enough that I can get this around? No. Not quite. Alright. Take care of him. We gotta get rid of his buddy here. This has been quite the, like, murderer drill. They've had me in quite the combat gone here. Wow, so much for having more bullets for the shotgun than I had for the hunting rifle. Let's switch over to our pistol for a little bit, I guess. So why does it matter that I can suddenly go in there? It doesn't. We can push this, though, I bet. I just feel like I'm really low on supplies. It's funny, with this chapter being the one that they, like, let me start off with a better than average kit, like they didn't take away all my stuff, I still feel grossly unprepared because they've just been throwing so many obstacles at me. <sighs> Alan's gonna be so tired. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to want to nap so bad. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. I heard you. I heard you, stinger noise. So this is getting pushed off an edge, right? Man, the atmosphere in this game is so creepy. Oh, I ducked right into it. Dome first. So why can I come this way? I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Oh, it's that far away still, huh? Was I able to backtrack the other way? No, not really. We can get behind the back of this. Yeah, so this doesn't do me any good. This is just kind of like part of the atmosphere. All right. At least Alan's like breathing heavy because I've got him sprinting so much. Part of me is starting to get really self-conscious about my own physical fitness based on the fact that Alan Wake just, like, woke up and decided to be a badass. Alright, so we can climb up there. I think the flare gun's got to be put to more use. We got eight rounds for it right now. I've been widely forgetting it again. Oh, are we gonna do a minecart sequence? Oh, oh my goodness. This is so ridiculous and we're obviously gonna get bird attacked. We're on the fear roller coaster. There's some birds, I see them. Yeah, how about that birds? This is cool. They start rock slide above me. Oh, all right. Well, that's the end of our ride. It wasn't a long ride, but you know what, guys? We're going to remember it forever. I'm going to get a t-shirt in the gift shop. Ladder to go up. 
Hear the birdies. They're hungry. They want some Alan Wake blood. Am I supposed to go up or down? This goes to a supply cache. See what I mean? Like, I, I guess I don't feel like there were many times in the game where I was like able to absolutely spam supply caches like that and not have stuff that I was overflowing on. And we've burned through so many resources in this chapter that that resource cache was the resource cache plus stuff sitting on top of it. And I still was able to just gobble it all up. You guys aren't hiding any thermoses, are you? This is a backtrack. But why? I could have just done this from the beginning when I got off this. Okay. The background, like, angry crow noises are so good. Guys, I was complimenting you. Come, come on, guys. I said nice things. Jerks. Oh, this one's so heavy. I can somehow I can feel the weight of it in my clicker finger. Big jumps. At least the high-powered flashlight, like, does a pretty good job. If they make one more pass, I'm going to be able to torch him, I think. Oh, not quite. That railing got in my way. Oh, except for when you're out of battery. Is it a reference to Pose Raven? I'm sure at least in part, right? Like, I bet you if we went back through and played this with the director's commentary there is like a developer commentary that you can play with this game um i bet you there are tons of literary references that have just completely gone over my head in the heat of the moment um but like i think i think that's definitely a good call that it's either a statement about the raven or just like you know the horror trope of of birds in general but like there's a lot of this game is very obviously influenced by classical horror. God, with the birds. So yet again, we've got the gross shadow puddles, which tend to mean some bad business. We're supposed to go up that way. So hang on, let's peruse the perimeter here. You know, one of the things that I think is really smart about the design of this game, so in these sequences, right, especially like the big outdoor areas where we get some of this like haze shadow, they're able to really hide some unnatural and broken geometry in the level designs um, because you don't really see it in the haze. There was a guy behind this thing. I swear to God, I just saw a guy back here. There he is. Too slow. That one wasn't. That was gonna be pretty good. He was gonna. He was gonna hurt me bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Well. You know what? How about one of those? You guys like that? Dude was a big one. More gunk. So obviously we're supposed to go in that shack. But what else? Doesn't look like any. Yes, please. 
all your supplies, please. Where are we? Like, how is this the fastest way there? I guess it's not a matter of fastest, right? It's a matter of whatever way he can get there. And Wake has already also explained that, like, this whole sequence doesn't have to make sense because it's all using dream logic. I guess maybe I'm just eager to stop being in situations where they're going to scare the shit out of me. Oh, the speedy dude. You're the worst. Oh, I just blinded the shit out of myself. Where is he? He's still on me. I can hear him rustling. These guys suck so bad. There we go. I got him. Where is he? Got him. All right. Oh boy. Hi, friends. This guy is still angry about me making fun of his OSHA shield. He's never gonna let the grudge die. I'm sitting on 12 flashbangs, really? Ooh. I'm really shocked I didn't get attacked during that sequence. I guess I can't be upset, but. All right, just keep on keeping on, it looks like here. The music's getting pretty hype. You didn't think I'd throw the double, huh? Gotcha. Alan's had enough. He's like, look, they gave me hardware. We gonna use it. How about that? Stop dropping bolts and shit. That's so irresponsible. I think I got that thermos. We're gonna have to go back in it from the other side, which I think was how I was supposed to go in it from the first. There we go. Ooh. Did the wall neutralize that flashbang? I can't tell. These guys drive me so crazy, because when you're not fighting them, you still hear that like, <laughs> Do not like. How about one of those? Huh? I'm so lost. There he is. Oh, he's got a friend. He's got a friend. I need one of them out of here. Thank you. All right. Just head to the yellow dot on your HUD. Oh boy. All right, blew through all that handgun ammo pretty quick. Oh shit. Oh my God, what is going on? I need this generator on now. Oh. 
They're really pushing Allen to the limit here. Alright, so it looks like up and over now. Goodness. Enough. Enough with the throwing heavy things. Oh, no. Listen, I think we can all agree there's too many heavy things. There's boats and train cars. Yo, Alan, you gotta invest in like a serious hard hat. What do we got over here? Can I actually get back here? I can't. Watch my dumbass get stuck on the geometry and like fail the level. Hey, to be the company out here to go do the forest cleanup? No kidding. There's gonna be a lot of people that are like. Looking at their sudden new contracts and like, how are we supposed to get this out of there? Maybe the dark presence is how the island from Lost happened. The Taken are filled with darkness. I mean, at this point we are well aware. Oh, we got more down power lines. The darkness wears her face. All right, we're not safe anymore when we come to these bunkers. And I think I hear creepy breathing. So like, be ready for a jump scare. And by re be ready for a jump scare, I guess I mean be ready to watch me freak out. Gotta go upstairs. The darkness controls the Taken. I mean, I could have told you that. That's not exactly... You don't have to be Cynthia Weaver level to, to know the secret behind that nonsense. Yeah. Bad guys? Bad guys? Anywhere? Bad guys? What a weird area. Okay, so there's like generators to the sides and then there's a main power conduit up into the front. Just an asthmatic hiding somewhere. He's, he's in there afraid of the dark. He's like, I hope this guy goes away. All right, I don't think that was the thing I unlocked revving a chainsaw, if I'm honest. That's a lot of taken. That's a lot of taken. We're, I'm just gonna hand out flashbangs like candy. Listen guys, we're celebrating Deer Fest. Here you go. You get a flashbang, and you get a flashbang, and you get a flare gun. Oh boy, I, oh, there's still one over there. Uh, here. I think you're my last opponent. This guy's like, bro, stop it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to down this line so we can clean it up. This is a safety hazard. Imagine if a handful of the Taken were literally just trying to do mundane safety oriented jobs and Alan is just out here shitting on people. Oh, homeboy did not like touching that live conduit. That's for damn sure. Ooh, I figured there was something here. Okay. More flashbangs for the great flashbang giveaway. It's a deer fest tradition. Can you imagine that phone call to Pat Main's radio show if they were like, I don't know, Pat, it's just these kids. They're not handing out, not handing out flashbangs and blinding each other. 
I just feel like Deerfest used to be a lot more bright, you know? Call down an elevator. At least this elevator's not painfully slow. Oh boy, come on. Really? You're not gonna give me with an ambush while I'm waiting for the elevator? They just wait until the very end? Why not? These idiots. Should have come you should have come at me while I was waiting for my elevator call. They're out there running into the freaking live wire like dummies. Alright. Ooh, manuscripts. After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I'd written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. I followed the idea of a path. I'd written myself across the ocean that blocked my way, and with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. This is so much fun to have Alan, like, come into the full of his powers with the altered capacity of the Dark Presence like just accepting okay well if the cottage needs to be there for me to put an end to this well then guess what the cottage is there now deal with it so cool all right Turn batteries hey you watch it, pal. Alan needs to do more exerting himself as a New Yorker and tell the Dark Presence things like, hey, I'm walking here. A real lack of uh, New York attitude from Alan. I knew you were there. You know what? Why don't I just drop a flare here? And then even if we have to fight, that's going to th get that thing out of there. Really? This didn't work on that? I thought for sure that would torch through the door. Get out of here. Oh, where the hell did you come from? You like ran up in the middle of a full dose of flashlight? You are a madman. That was either the bravest or the dumbest taken we've encountered all game. All right. No, thank you, sir. All right, just the boat left. I heard someone. Oh, I dodged into him. Poor choice. I don't know if we're gonna get all the way through this one before another ambush. Yeah, I didn't think so. The boat's big. Ow! Oh, my blood. All my blood parts. I'm gonna drop a flare here, just in the hopes of getting through the boat. Oh shit. Where is he? Where is he? Did he disappear? Whatever, don't worry about it. Do as you're told. Ooh. Oh boy, no thanks, ma'am. Don't I don't like that. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to touch it? Got it. Okay. I thought we were going to just be able to hop over it. This is so bananas. I can use another checkpoint. I mean... Maybe Alice got out on her own. Not rude. Yeah, I should know better than to touch the stuff that we have uh, verified is infected by the Dark Presence. You are very right. 
That's fine. We live here now. We live. This is it. This is Alan's new home. We're gonna have Amazon send us a typewriter so that we can write our next book. We're good. Um. All right. I guess let's try this. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy. Yo, these boat owners are gonna be so upset. They're not gonna have their boats for Deer Fest celebration. What am I supposed to do? Oh my lord. Am I just going into the epicenter? This is such a bad idea, Helen. This is the story you wrote? You dummy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alan Wake, and the story I wrote is I get jacked in the face by a dumpster. Destroy the tornado is my current goal. Nah. Nah, I think I'm good. It feels that way, I'm gonna be honest. What is this? Flare gun ammo. Oh boy, you just gonna let me uncork with it, huh? Oh yeah. This I'm okay with. Let's get a little closer and see if I can't target something specific. You will fail. It is crazy. It is absolutely batshit. Where's Barry when you need him? Oh, is she in the middle of this? Did you guys see her there? Whoa. So this is where we stood and looked at, well, maybe not the exact same spot, but this is like reminiscent of when we looked down with the sheriff. Oh, he's just going for it. <gasps> what a ballsy bastard. Hell. a bad dream I don't trust it was that just another nightmare no everything's fine you're home it wasn't a dream everything's fine what <laughs> turn the lights on turn the lights on shh baby the power's out there's no light come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear my fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, there's still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. I, th I am very uncomfortable with this whole situation. So like obviously the the quick tip off right is that Alice isn't freaking out. Come back to bed. Cuz wouldn't she be absolutely losing her Jesus Christ. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. You're a genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. I don't think I will actually, Alice. I think I'm going to look around and find the clicker. I, the teleporting, Alice, is a thing you got to work on. Does it just say clicker? Come back to bed, Alan. How come weird. Back to bed, Tom. Did you hear come back to bed, Tom? Oh, there's 
There's our boy Tom. What up, T Zane? You must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. Clickers are scary. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. You must fill its heart with light. Does look like a big daddy. He's light daddy. You're right, Afterlife. Use the clicker. Use the clicker. Reminds you of Legion? You mean Legion from Mass Effect? Alright, so we have to use the clicker. What? Words are objects. We're living in the story now in like the literal sense. Oh wait, I don't want to blow up the thermos. I want to take the thermos. No, no, don't make me destroy the things I love. Oh, okay. So we have to shine a light on the words and we'll bring them into being. This is insanity. What? So we can answer the phone. We're gonna, but I'm still playing with words. Oh, the show Legion. Just part of an episode. You were lighting to uncreate things and now we're lighting to create things. That's a good point. I didn't think of it that way. Let's go answer our phone call. Oh, I can't. Is this just the same stuff again? Telephone pole, barrel, shoebox, phone, shopping I'm cart. Leaving Alice. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what do you say? You can't. You don't love me. How could you when you don't even love yourself? All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Alice? What are you doing? Put the light back on. What are you doing, Alice? Stop. Put the light back on. It wasn't true. Nothing like that has ever happened. This is so bonkers. I mean, it's I very clearly do not need to go through the effort of doing all of these. Bridge. Oh, there's Diver's Isle. There's Bird Leg Cabin. Look at this. Yo, this is so cool. You're not my Barbara. Tom, let me go. I promise to be good. Please, untie me, you naughty boy. I will help you write your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. My heart is filled with darkness. I'll, I'll cut it out. Ah! Ah! I'll take you back to the depths of cave there. You hear the beating heart? So that's another one, Darkness. right? The beating of that terrible heart. 
This is insanity. I feel like I've spent the last 10 minutes with my jaw open. So that's the thing, Thomas. Do you hear that when these snap in, you hear typewriter typing? Oh, the phone. I willed the cabin to be real. I willed the cabin to be real. This is nutso. I don't like I'm I'm done. I'm toast. This is so insane. I wanna get this bird word out of here. Where am I? Let me go. Okay, so that's her talking to Barbara Jagger. Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now it's too late. It's his fault. You'll stay here forever. What? All right, listen, I know dramatically, Alice, you want me to immediately run in the front door, but I'm trying to look around a little bit because I cannot get over how insanely cool this sequence is. All right, so we got to go upstairs and finish the manuscript, right? Oh, with the creepy rocking chair. There she is. Oh, it's a rocking horse. Now you will never get her back. Oh, where he cut her heart out. Yo. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Clicker does work, y'all. All right, now we gotta find Alice. We still gotta finish the manuscript, I right? Yeah. I feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where saying had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. So we have to see what happened down here. No. I start. I, I was trying to count how many days had passed, and I lost it. We got a floater. Oh no. Oh, there's Alice.
girl, how about you get yourself a hot cup of tea, maybe some pants. It's been an awful long time since you've had pants. Just really treat yourself. Mr. Wake, well, he said everything has a cost. When Tom tried to save Barbara, he didn't offer anything up in return. And Alan seems to have learned from that mistake. The cost is Alan Wake, too. <laughs> Welcome to beautiful Bright Falls, home of Deerfest. Oh, speaking of, look, oh man, let's go, Deerfest, finally. There it is. Oh, that beautiful, beautiful float. Pat's having a great time. I forgot the deputy's name, but she's loving it. Oh, the Anderson brothers can't get enough. Deerfest is metal as hell, y'all. Ooh. Rose is uh a little different. And then who was that? Nightingale in the background? It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Yo. So there we have it. Alan sacrifices himself for Alice to return. That's so cool. What a rad ending. All right, I'm going to click over before I get DMCA'd. Um... Oh shit. It's space oddity. What a what a weird choice for the final credits. Um Alan Wake is exceptional. This game was so good. I was uh I was talking to Misha Fish just before we went live tonight. I cannot believe this game was made over a decade ago. Like it is staggering how well this holds up even now. Um I I really really enjoy it. Like I say, I, my um my biggest uh kind of like I guess my my biggest knowledge surrounding the game before we played it came from the game Control, which is Remedy's most recent title. Um and they did make it very obvious that they have another Alan Wake game in the works, uh which I am wildly interested in now. Um because I this I thought was fantastic. Except for the TiVo reference, right? Yeah, it held up pretty well, except for who the hell says TiVo? What's up, Venom? Um, we, there is more Alan Wake. So I'm, I'm not done with Alan Wake per se. There are two DLC chapters for the game. Uh, I believe it's called The Signal and The Writer are the two titles. Um, and they kind of play out like a seventh and an eighth chapter, a seventh and an eighth episode. I plan on playing those. I really, like I say, I've really enjoyed the game, so I want to play as much of it as I can. But 